What's going on, family? So I want to show you guys how I go about making loops in Logic X. So I'm getting ready for Sunday morning, which is tomorrow. And I haven't had a chance all week to make loops for the set that we're doing this week. Um, so we're doing Settle Here by William Murphy. So I'm just going to show you guys my process of making a loop in Logic. And of course, I'm going to take this loop and transfer it over into Ableton. I'm going to start with the shakers first. I'm going to pull up premium church samples. Shameless plug, you can get premium church samples off of my website, link in the bio. So check that out, but we're gonna start with the shakers first. And before we do anything, we're gonna identify the tempo. I figured out that the tempo is 68, so let's go with it. I'm going to command A, press Q, hold option, drag this over, hold option, drag this over, hold option, drag this over i'm going to join all of this together so we got the shakers right here all right i'm going to double up with the shaker right here i'm going to add another um nuance to the shaker so check it out select everything command a press q quantize So that's creating a nice little rub in between shaker and shaker uh, two. The next thing we're gonna add is a block. So the process that I'm using to make this loop I swear this process is the same process I use for making typically every other loop that I make for church and for songs in general. I'm always starting with the shakers. I'm always starting with the other percussion in instruments next. I'm going to add a snap to it. If you're looking for over 30 high quality loops, you can now go to my website and cop my new signature gospel loop pack. For only $25, you can get access to over 30 high quality loops ready to use in your DAW of choice. So if you need loops for church, if you need loops for production, go ahead over and check out my signature gospel loop pack on mkbaileymusic.com, link below. All right, next I'm gonna go in Logic and pull up this hip hop kit. And we're going to add uh, a triangle in there. Let's get it. Let's check it out. All right. Let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to go into my sampler and I'm going to pull up loop elements by gospel producers if you don't have loop elements i suggest you to go to gospelproducers.com and to go grab it it's a really good uh tool for creating loops all right i'm gonna add one more element to it from loop elements check it out What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the low end in this. As you can see, the low end is down right here. But we want to create some more space. I'm going to even take out the highs as well. Completely take all of that out. All right, that's how you create a loop in Logic. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, if you found some value in this video, hit that like button for me. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to this channel. Um, we're growing this channel up and thank you guys for rocking with me. Um, until next time, we out.